Welcome to Look Smarter Than You Are with Oracle S-Base Calc Scripts. We're going to cover the data import bin command and by extension, how to use the data export bin command. Data import bin imports the blocks back into S-Base that you previously exported using the data export bin file command. So binary export and import is very different than a normal data export. Normal data export exports out a text or a relational file that's essentially readable. It's something that you can pull open and see the data within it. That is not how a binary export import works. It will actually take the compressed encrypted block from the hard drive, pull it into memory, essentially leave it in that format and export it back out again. So we have to export it with data export bin file, and then we import it back in with data import bin. This is an awesome way to take a subset of a database and export it out to be able to pull that subset into an exact copy of the database or to just do a really fast backup of the entire database. The calc script can export or import in that binary format, but keep in mind that exported file can only come back into a database that has the exact same dimensionality as the database you exported from. Syntax is really simple. None of those additional data export options we were talking about before. The really key thing is data export bin file, what file name you're going out to, and then in some other script in the other database, data import bin, and then import that bin file back in. We're gonna cover data import ignore timestamp in just a second. So data export is going to export out that data from the database in bitmap compressed format. So file name is the only one we really have to care about, which is just what is the file and then where do we want it to put that file? You do need to remember to put the extension on it. So it'd be something like file name.txt, although technically it's not a txt file. So file name.odd, I guess. If you don't give it a path, it's gonna stick in the main application directory. You can say dot slash, and obviously change your slashes if you're on Linux or Unix, dot slash app name, whatever the application name is you wanna stick it in, slash db name, whatever the database name is you wanna stick it in, dash file name, and it will put that file in a specific specific database directory. Unlike the other forms of data export, data export bin will only export entire blocks because it's never really processing them. It just takes that block into memory, leaves it as a compressed format block, and writes it back out as a compressed format block. Data import bin will take that export that you did using bin file, and it'll pull it back in again. This one is even simpler because all we have to do is say data import bin and then the file name. Again, we use the exact same delineator to tell it where the file is actually loaded. And because data export bin only exported whole blocks, data import bin only imports whole blocks. Data import ignore data timestamp tells the data import if it should bother checking the exporting outline to see if the timestamp exactly matches the importing outline. So on says ignore the outline timestamp. Maybe I did a copy of it at some point. Now be very careful because if maybe that older outline didn't have all the members the newer outline does and you try to do this, it's just gonna mangle your entire data set. So make sure it really is the exact same copy. It's just for some reason your timestamp is slightly different between the two. Off is the default, meaning it will check the outline date timestamp. So in our first example, we're going to export all the blocks for Texas. So notice that export level is set to all, not something like level zero. Then we're going to say fix on Texas, that export bin, bin file format, and we're going to send it out to gs of tx.odd. It's not to imply the great state of Texas is odd, just that the file format is. In our second example, we are not checking the outline timestamp because who needs silly things like error checking when you know you're right? And we're using the file from before to import those compressed binary blocks. 